Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. This is my friend's Sony PVM14L5. Uh, the issue with this one is that it does not turn on. So let's get it taken apart, see if we can figure out why it's not turning on, and see if we can fix it. Before we get this apart, I'll just show you that it doesn't turn on. It is plugged in and the power is, is ready to go. So turn on the power here. And as you can see, there is no, no reaction from the power button. Another thing I noticed about this this guy is if you turn it on, we're on wattage here. You watch the wattage that it draws kind of fluctuate. It's coming in at peaking out at like 5.4 watts and then it drops down to like 3. And just keeps resetting. So it's not drawing all that much power. Another interesting thing I noticed is if I probe this 12 volt feed here from the power supply. You can see it kind of goes up to two volts and then drops down and then goes up to two volts, drops down. Um, so it's just kind of cycling between two, one and a half to two volts when that should, that should be reading 12 volts. So it's getting power, just not quite enough power for some reason. Let's finish tearing this thing down so we can get on with the rest of the recap. All right, so finally we got access to the G-Board. Uh, anybody who tells you these are easy to work on, uh, they don't know what they're talking about. Um, so this is the power supply area in here. We saw that on the thermal imaging camera that this is getting super hot right here. It's also getting super hot right here. Um, but I'm gonna go through and my friend did a good portion of the Save On Pad cap kit. Um, but I'm going to do the rest of these here. These have to do with the, the G main board, which is the power supply circuits. So I'm going to go and mark those caps on here, and then we'll go and pull them out and replace them. Okay, we've got all the capacitors located and labeled, and you absolutely need to take this thing out in order to get them. Uh, so there's one here, one there, one there. Just tuck down in there. There's one right here. There's one right there. One right here. And there's two under that cable right there. So we're going to pop all those out and replace them because that's what the kit says. All right, let's get to it.
All right, we're all back together. You'll have to forgive me for not filming, putting all 1,400,000 connectors all back together. Uh, so, uh, what do you think? Is the Save on Pat capacitor kit gonna save this machine? Let's find out. Oh, nope, nothing. Same issue as before. It's kind of waffling between three and five watts. So that's a huge disappointment to have done all that work and uh, have it not fix the issue and uh, didn't uh, make any change at all. But um, at least we we know it's not the you know the save on pat kit is not what's wrong with it um there's something else wrong with it so um that's probably it for this one i'm gonna have to just shut her down and do some more research about what could possibly be wrong with it and uh once i figure something else out we'll we'll bring everyone back here and we'll give another try on this uh sorry we didn't fix it but um that's just how it goes you can't win every time uh, thanks everybody for watching so much, and I will see you on the next one.